What's up, Peace Chapel family? Welcome to our first ever Peace Chapel check-in with all the coronavirus that's going on. Even though the world is on lock right now, the kingdom of God is not on lock. And so one of the main things that we must continue to do is pray. And so we have one of our amazing church leaders here with us, Kim Grace, who is actually starting up our first ever prayer line here at Peace Chapel. What made you want to start this prayer line, Kim? Well, Nate, um, for the most part, I know the power of prayer. I know prayer changes things, and I know it's very necessary to reach the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So that inspires me a lot outside of God. So what can these people expect to get on this prayer line? Well, uh, Nate, what we're doing is this will be our in initial um, Peace Chapel prayer team. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll go online. We'll have a conference call type of um, situation to whereas the people will be able to call in, we'll be able to meet the needs and keep the line of communication open as well. Right. So are you going to be praying for people specifically? Or is it going to be more of a, gener a generalized prayer? Can they step in or can they not step in? How is that process going to work? That's a very good question, Nate. So how it works is we'll basically be standing in the gap, uh, you know, uh, outside of just lifting up the name of God. I think a great way to do that would just be to keep in mind the the act synonym. That means to give adoration to God, to confess the sin, to give thanksgiving and to make supplications on behalf of all of the saints. Got you. And lastly, how do they get access to this prayer line? How do they get on it? Is there particular numbers or code that they need to put in? How do they get access to this? Okay, so what we'll do, Nate, is we will have a, a phone number to call. Mm -hmm. That phone number will be area code 425-436-6370. Again, that's 425-436-6370. Now, once you call that number, you will be prompted to enter a code, a six-digit code. That code will be 269259. Again, the code is 269259. Once the code has been entered, they will ask you for a PIN number, which is something that we don't have. So we'll bypass that. They'll ask you to push the pound sign. And once you hear the music, you are online and live, and we are ready to go into prayer. Yes, it is literally that simple. I know it could have, might have sounded long, but it's literally you call the number. They will walk you through the process and prompt you through that. Now, what times are we going to be having these prayer lines going? Okay, so the times will be 8 a.m. That will be the first prayer call. Mm -hmm. The second time will be 12 p.m. for the noonday prayers. Then we'll go in again at 4 p.m. And 8 p.m. will be our final prayer line. Gotcha. So we have prayers going on all day long. So you guys are completely covered. We are working around the clock to make sure that you guys are connected with God and make sure that we continue to keep that open line of communication going. Do you have anything else to add about the prayer line? I want to thank God for Jesus. Thank God for all things. And I ask that you guys don't hesitate. Let's take it to the throne. Is there anything else that you want to let us know about this prayer line? Well, Nate, there is one more thing that I would like to include. We will have... Um, bilingual translation for the prayer so come one come all don't hesitate we've got you covered yes we are a bilingual church here at peace chapel we want to um, serve both communities um, and if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to myself kim any of the church leaders here at peace chapel and, and invite your friends invite your family members if you guys need any special prayers reach out to us as well but we are so excited um, don't forget to uh, like the facebook page and subscribe to our youtube channel as well